Hi, my question is, what was the first animal on Earth? How far back do the genes from our ancestors go? Wow! Hi everyone, we just received two great questions from two classes about how far back do our genes from ancestors go and what was the first animal on Earth? And you know what? These two questions are so related, I'm going to go to someone I know and can trust to answer these questions. Mrs. Brosha and the AP Bio class. We currently have two students from AP Biology. This is uh, Maddie and Amanda, and they're going to help to answer your question about what was the first animal. Well, an animal is any organism that takes nutrients from the environment and is made up of many cells. Scientists today believe that the first animal was actually a sea sponge, thanks to molecular evidence. But there's still a lot of debate what the first animal actually was. To answer your question, I have Darren and Olivia here from AP Biology. This question is a little tough because in order to answer it, you have to understand what a gene is. Darren, what's a gene? <laughs> So a gene is a sequence of DNA that codes for a protein and that's passed on from one cell to the next. So all of the um, proteins that we have in common with other organisms, it's said to be passed on and we have similar DNA sequences to those organisms. So for example, about 3.5 billion years ago came the very first bacteria and then soon from that diverged unicellular organisms, which are just basically organisms made up of one cell and then came multicellular organisms, which obviously have multiple cells. And then soon after that, there were many more mutations and variations. And then came bipedal mammals, which means they walk on two feet. And then came humans. And there were more mutations since then, like those that code for red hair and breaking down lactose. and. Basically, the cool thing is that we still carry many of the genes from the very first unicellular and bacterial organisms. Wow, thank you, Mrs. Brosha in the AP Bio class. What a great answer to two great questions. If you have any more questions for me, contact me right here. And always remember to keep learning, wondering, and discovering the world around us.